Hello everybody, I'm Dave. Welcome back to Sailing Madness. Now, as you can see, I am out and I'm sailing again. I didn't film leaving the marina or motoring through the channel because if you're regular here, you'd have seen that loads of times in my previous episodes. So I thought I'd start this video just as I get the sails up and just as I start heading to where I want to be going. So where am I going? Well, the thought this morning was I was going to be doing a round Anglesey trip. So doing a whole circumnavigation around the island. Now, whether I'm going to do that or not, I don't know, because as you can see, there is very little wind. Now, I could motor all the way around, but what's the point in that? I might as well save that adventure for another day when there is a bit more wind. Now, the forecast is for there to be more wind later on, or tomorrow, so we'll wait and see. I am going to go and do an overnighter tonight, drop the hook somewhere. I'll probably try and get as far as Point Linus, which is where I've been in previous episodes, and then after that, I'll continue my circumnavigation around the island tomorrow providing there's a little bit more wind. So we'll see. So the plan is, we're going round Anglesey. Plan B could be, we head back to Conway tomorrow. But uh, the one or two things I want to be doing as well on this trip, because you may have noticed already, just behind me here, I have fitted Starlink on the boat. Now, last time I went to Pont Linus, you may remember I was saying that there's a very, very bad mobile phone signal there. Uh, so. We're going to be testing out the uh, the Starlink on the boat and seeing what sort of internet connection we get. Now I'm not going offshore, so uh, I've got the um, the roaming package, which is meant for RVs, but um, you can use it so many miles offshore without them telling you off for having the wrong package. So uh, that's the plan. Test that, see if it works okay, and just have a nice couple of days. The forecast here in the UK is it to be fairly calm all this week, which is why I decided to do the uh, the Anglesey trip calm and settled for the next few days but maybe it's going to be too settled for what I want to do. Right so as you can see very settled here today it's lovely to be out but um, I could do with a little bit more wind. Uh, we got about four and a half knots of breeze maybe five occasionally uh, but we're managing about 2.8 knots through the water which I guess isn't too bad but let's see if we can get a little bit more performance out of the sails. Now if you watched the episode about a month ago where I showed you the cheat sheet that I produced my sail trim cheat sheet Let's see if some of the adjustments I can make on here can give us a little bit more speed through the water. Okay, so this is the cheat sheet I was talking about. Uh, so we're on a reach, light winds. So our goal is to power up, get more out of the sails. So the backstay, we need to ease the backstay to straighten the mast and induce fullness in both the sails for maximum power. Well, let's just have a look over here. See, the backstay is nice and loose, so I know that is already set correctly. Now the vang. We need to ease Vang and Heli tension to put a bit of sag in the sails. So let's just have a look at the Vang. So yeah, that is nice and loose, there's no tension on that. Now the outhaul, it says ease 70 to 100 millimetres to put some curb in the lower part of the main. So yeah, I could probably ease that a little bit. There you go, a bit more sag in the sail there now. 
Well, look at that. We're up to 3.8 knots already. That's made a big difference. So there you have it, the cheat sheet. It's, it's worth its weight in gold. I'm so glad I printed this off and laminated it and I've kept it on the boat uh, because just those few little minor things that you can do to your sails and the sail trim just make all the difference. And I, okay, I'm only pottering around the bay today, so an extra knot here or an extra knot there doesn't make that much difference. But if I was on a long passage, an extra knot is a massive, massive difference. Now, a lot of you have been asking if you can have a copy of this cheat sheet, and you can. Uh, it is available to download on the Sailing Madness website. If you just click over to sailingmadness.co.uk, click on the downloads page, and the reaching and the upwind cheat sheet are both there for you to download. They are free of charge, but there is a link there to PayPal. If you would like to make a donation, then that would be much appreciated. But head on over to sailingmadness.co.uk and get your copy of my cheat sheet and let me know how you get on with it. Right, so I've been going now a couple of hours and uh, literally just as I turn the camera on, the wind's picked up. We've been doing a steady sort of four and a half to five knots. We're cruising along at six and a half knots now, but the winds are the apparent wind's nearly 12 knots, so uh, I think I might have to adjust the sails in a minute, unless it dies down. But the plan is now I'm going to get to Pont Linus tonight, drop the hook there, and then tomorrow I'll head past Hollyhead and down past South Stack. I need to look at the cup pilot books to work out the best time to do that, but I'll do that when we've dropped the anchor. And then tomorrow head on to the uh, southern side of the island. Never cruised that area before, so it's going to be completely new to me. Really looking forward to it. It was pretty nice and calm and chilled and I even made tea in my china cups. Usually when I'm sailing I only use the uh, mugs with the uh, lid on but uh, today I decided to risk the china. The fine china. <laughs> yeah I know I'm a bad lazy sailor. I should have brought the fenders in. I did bring them on the deck but that's since fallen back overboard. I'll sort them out when we get to Pont Linus. Now I don't know if you can see but it's just in the distance you can just about make out the lighthouse on that jot of land that sticks out underneath the uh, the head sail. That's where we're heading for tonight. I think it's going to be a bit rolly in that anchorage this evening, but it is what it is. We've got about three miles to go before we're there. Still doing about six and a half knots through the water, so uh, going to be there in about half an hour or so. But it's been a lovely cruise over from Conway this afternoon. Looking forward to the rest of the journey around Anglesey tomorrow. Right, so we're not far off now. Then we get the engine on, get the cells away, and go and find somewhere to anchor for the night. So we are just about here, we've got five metres under the keel, so I'm going to spin the boat round into the wind and then go and drop the hook. Right, so the anchor's set, it's four and a half metres below the keel, it's more or less low tide. It's got about an hour to go, so there's a little bit of depth to come off of that, but I'm just a bit concerned we're quite close to the rocks. Do I raise the anchor and just go out a little bit more? Undecided. Right, so I've been in out for a couple of hours and I did chicken out. I did move the boat. <laughs> A little bit further off the shore so we are now if I spin around a little bit further away from the rocks 
Now, it does mean that I will rest a little bit easier tonight, but the problem is because we're further out, the swell is a little bit more rocky. So maybe I won't rest easier after all. <laughs> but let's just take you around the deck and show you. Yep, definitely going to be a rolly anchorage tonight. But it's still great to be out, loving it. And despite the winds being kind of northerly, uh, it is still quite warm. Been pleasantly warm today. It did get a bit cold in the wind earlier on when we were coming over here, but uh, it's all right now. You know, I'm not sure if the camera's going to pick this up. They're a bit far away, but there is someone having a swim. They're just about there. They're a lot braver than me. Bet that water's blooming freezing. Time for dinner, time to eat on the boat and I've got something special tonight because I've been marinating some chicken for the last 24 hours. There it is in there. There's some sauce. There's some pilau rice. Tonight we're having Chicken Dave Masala. Plenty of garlic in there. It's already smelling good. Also got a couple of anchor beers. for the beer now do we just going to do one pound you're going to chuck the rice in when the chicken's ready no use creating extra washing up is there finally we're going to add some rice Oh yeah, this smells good. Didn't have much for lunch today, so I'm absolutely starving. Right, I'm going to tuck into this, do the washing up, and then I'll do some passage planning, or either some passage planning, blah, 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 tomorrow. Right, so the beer is going down nicely, and the Chicken Dave Masala went down really nice as well. Just done the washing up, and uh, now just uh, doing a little bit of passage planning for tomorrow. And uh, it looks like we've got a fairly chilled out relaxed start to the day i thought we were going to have to get up quite early but uh, no i can have a little lie in uh, because it looks like the uh, the tide's going to be running with us from around 55 minutes after high water at hollyhead high water at hollyhead tomorrow is the 11 30 in the morning um, so anytime really after sort of 12 25 um, we can go from the skerries down past hollyhead down to south stack and we'll have the tide with us all the way so I'll show you on the map in a moment where I'm planning to get to tomorrow, but um, just uh, done a rough calculation. It's about 30 nautical miles. Uh, found a little anchorage that I'm going to aim for. Um, I'll show you that in a moment. But um, yeah, so I think if we probably leave here about half past 10 tomorrow and uh, we should be at, uh, at the top corner of uh, the Skerries, at the top corner of Anglesey, and uh, we should be able to catch the tide quite nicely. And we're going to have wind with us as well tomorrow. So we're going to be doing a bit of downwind sailing if uh, predict wind is correct, but I'll, I'll check that in the morning. Right, so let's show you on the map then where I am. And as you can see, that big red triangle is our current position. This is Anglesey. This is what we're going to be going around. And just to give you a proper idea with your, with your geography, so you can get your bearings. There's the UK, there's Europe, France, Spain. So let's just zoom back in. So this is the island of Anglesey. And we started over here at Conway Marina. That's where we started this morning came out through the channel didn't start filming until I got about here so what you've seen is the journey from sort of here all the way over to here 
and this is where we are right now at Pont Linus. Now the plan tomorrow as I just mentioned is to set off probably around 10.30 ish to get around here. Now this is where we need to be when the tide goes with us and as I mentioned before from 55 minutes after high water Hollyhead the tide turns and we're going down here. So as we go down here this is Hollyhead here this is the big port um, so I'm going to come along here, down here, this is South Stack down here somewhere and then I'm just going to go around here and stop in one of these anchorages here. Well, good morning everybody. I think it's fair to say I've had a shit night. It's just been the rolliest, rockiest worst anchorage I've ever stayed in. I can't wait to leave this place this morning. I've had probably two hours sleep at the very most. It is um, 10 past six in the morning. I think I need a cup of tea and then once I've had a cup of tea I'll take you outside and show you what's what's happening. But it's just been rolling and rocking and um, just come and have a look over here. This is the, where we've been on anchor last night. Look at it. Okay, so this is our anchor track, um, and as you can see, we were all over here at one point, and now we're kind of here. Uh, we've just moved around all over the place. The boat has not stopped moving. It's just been a horrendous night. Right, okay, I've had me a cup of tea. Let's take you outside for the first time this morning. And as you can see, look at the swell coming in over here. Now, I don't know why it's so swelly in here today, but the problem is obviously the wind's coming from over there, which is where it was forecast from. We're facing into the wind, and that's putting us beam on to the swell, which is why the boat's been doing this all night. And that's why I haven't had much sleep. But uh, no, I can't wait to get out of this anchorage. I've been here so many times before, as you've seen in previous videos, and it's never been like this. So the plan is today, I'm gonna to wait for the uh, update on predict wind, uh, for the wind, and the plan is still to head round there, past Hollyhead, and get round to the uh, south side of the island. But I'll make a final decision about that once the winds have updated on predict wind at eight o'clock. Right, so there's been a change of plan. Now the winds have updated, I've decided to abort the attempt of going round Anglesey uh, on this occasion, and that's because the winds are veering uh, tonight, so this evening, overnight tonight, uh, to a southwesterly sort of direction, which means if I'm on the south of the island, then I'm gonna be in another rolly anchorage tonight, and I really, really don't want to go through another rolly night like I did last night. So the plan is now, I'm going to head back to Conway and we will do around Anglesey at some point later on this year. Let's go home. Okay, so we are about 20 minutes away from the start of the channel, back to the marina, and the sun's finally come out. The, the, the sea is a lot calmer here in the bay, but I knew it would be. But um, looking at the winds, I think I still made the right decision to abort my whole idea of doing a little trip around Anglesey. Because yesterday, today and tomorrow, not the ideal time to do it. And I know sometimes in sailing that's considered a failure. I know people don't like turning around and going back again, but for me that was the right decision. I'm not ashamed to admit that I could have carried on, but I made the decision to turn around and come back and that's great, I'm happy with that. It means I can get a decent night's sleep tonight and plan on attempting the circumnavigation at some point in the near future. You know, I could have carried on, but with the winds forecast to change direction, if I'd have found a nice bay on the south side of the island, the winds coming from the southwest, then I'd have had another rolly night in another anchorage and I didn't want to repeat another night of what I had last night because it was horrible. Um, worst night on anchor I've ever had in this boat. So I'm tired and I can get a good night's sleep tonight 
and start planning on doing this trip again at some point in the near future. Don't forget if you are enjoying this video by the way, hit that thumb, give me a like. If you've not done so already, please subscribe. And if you'd like to contribute to future episodes, please consider becoming a patron. All my patrons get ad-free access and early access to all of my episodes, plus exclusive patron-only videos too. So click the link below and join the patron crew. Thank you.